The first thing you need to do is go into your iPod and touch the installer app. And then go into install. And scroll down to tweaks 1.1.1. You're going to want to look for a file called Octoprep. It'll look like this. Install that because you'll need it for the 1.1.2 jailbreak. Just wait for the files to download and install, and you'll get a notice that looks like this. Just touch OK. And touch Home and it'll crash. There won't be any physical icons for Octoprep, but you'll need it for the 1.1.2 jailbreak. The next thing you need to do is download the 1.1.2 jailbreak files in the link that I gave you. Just type it in and it'll bring to you a page like this and type in your three letters and click download. and then wait for the timer to run out and then save it to a place that you can find it easily like your desktop because that seems to be the easiest place to find it and then the finished file will look like this it'll be a zip file you will need winzip to extract this you'll need to extract here and then it will create a folder called jailbreak 1.1.2 the next thing you'll have to do is download the iTunes firmware 1.1.2 because the update on iTunes for 1.1.3 is out and you can't just easily click install like you did before so just copy and paste the link that I gave you up on at the right into the web address bar and it will bring you to a page like this it will be exactly the same way it was before so just enter in your three letters and click download and then save it to your desktop but this time it'll be a .rar file so you'll need to have Windows RAR download on your computer in order to extract this but once you have that then just right click it and click extract here and the finished file will look like this once it's done extracting then you need to open up iTunes and make sure your iPod is connected at this point go into your iPod hold down shift on your keyboard and then click update then a screen will come on the screen that looks like this and look for the firmware that we just downloaded 1.1.2 click it and then click open once it's done you'll see that it's now running 1.1.2 firmware which is what we expected it to do and then just minimize iTunes for now and open up your jailbreak 1.1.2 folder you'll see six files that look like this just minimize that folder for now and go back into iTunes and make sure iTunes recognizes your iPod before you eject it because if it doesn't recognize it the jailbreaking won't work that's what I found out from doing this so many times once it's done you can just exit out of iTunes safely now go into task manager and look for all the processes that have to do with iTunes such as iTunes helper or iPod services what I found you do not need to end the process Apple mobile device because if you do iTunes won't recognize your iPod then go back into your jailbreak 1.1.2 folder and click the dot bat file and wait for it to pop up on the screen there we go 
and then the second another little box will also here we go then you need to check the install SSH make sure you do this and then click jailbreak it'll go through a series of things but once it oh if you get a notice like this like I did don't worry it should still work and then upload the SSH files and the RSA host key whatever that is and then one of the last things it does is reboot your device and your iPod should look like this look like this and then the very last thing another notice will pop up and say that your iPod is now jailbroken so let's go back to my iPod and find that it has now been jailbroken which is what we wanted so I hope I helped you jailbreak your iPod and if you have any questions just ask me